Welcome to the basic flow mapping module. The next example illustrates how to limit a shared traffic stream so that this port experience is a reduced traffic set as compared to the others receiving copies of the same traffic. For this example, assume that the tool attached to port 5 is managed by staff who maintain only the intranet servers. Tool number 2 is managed by staff who provide security for both intranet and internet web servers, so they need all web traffic. The map named forwards all port 80 web traffic found on the network core uplink to three tool ports. You could create a core web additional map which forwards a subset of the web traffic to port 5, but using the existing map that forwards all web traffic is easier. In this example, you will create an egress filter to forward only a particular web server traffic. You will now configure egress filtering using the Fabric Manager web interface. Egress filters are set on a per port basis. Edit port 15 on the Ports screen. Select port 11x15 and click Edit. The port page for port 11x15 appears. Click the Add a Rule button on the Edit screen for port 15. This causes a rule condition to appear and looks just like rule choices used with basic flow maps. Use the pull down list to choose IPv4 source as one of the rules. Type in the IP address of the web server. 10, 10, 10, 21 in our example, along with either the CIDR subnet mask notation of 32 or the comparable dotted decimal notation of 255, 255, 255, 255, both indicating a single host or an exact match. Repeat to configure a second rule for IPv4 destination. Since rules have an implicit deny, this means that only port 80 web traffic from the previous map sent to or from that IP address will be forwarded to tool port 15. Click Save when ready. The configuration is implemented immediately. The Ports page will show a checkbox in the column for Port Filter, indicating the presence of an egress filter. 